It's been a while since I dropped the PvP build and I'm having a lot of fun with this build guys. 1.5 million armor and doing 203% critical hit damage. This is a monster. Are you ready? Let's go! What up YouTube? Welcome to another Division 2 video. Thanks for clicking my content, really appreciate you watching it. If you like my content and want to help the channel out, don't forget to smash that like button. And today I'm going to show you one of my PvP builds. I got a few PvP builds coming, I dove into PvP a few days back and I'm having a lot of fun with a few different builds. And this build that I'm gonna show you today is a freaking monster. Holding 1.5 million armor, 60% critical hit chance or almost that cap of 60% critical hit chance and 203% critical hit damage. Yes, you heard it right. 203% critical hit damage, even on a build with 1.5 million damage. And this is a lot of fun to play with. And it was of course a long time when I stepped into PvP again, or yeah, especially into conflict. And it's fun, don't get me wrong, I'm not the full PvP player on Division 2, but this build will definitely help you out with that. It will keep you alive, as in the 1.5 million armor, and still, with all the damage putting out, you will take down harder hitting enemies or even tankier enemies with one freaking clip yes guys of course like you see on the gameplay we are running around with the lady death one of the best smgs to run around with and if you want to go close close and personal like this build is you need that lady death it's just the best choice and then of course running around with some extra amplified damage but enough gameplay guys let's dive into the build and there we are guys this is the build that you just saw i'm rocking two reds four blues two Sokolov, one walker and harris one grupo and yes two improvised gear yes let's start with the improvised gear guys you can craft this and why the improvised gear because we can add a mod on there and as you can see, I chose for the critical hit damage on there and the mod of critical hit damage. I would love to find a little bit higher, but still am not lucky enough to find a few higher than 11% or even near that 12% cap. And I would love to see some skill haste for something else. For example, weapon handling or even hazard protection or something else because... The critical hit chance I don't need. I'm already capped at the critical hit chance. So then you can go for something else. You can go for armor regeneration, hazard protection, weapon handling, whatever you think is best for the build. But these are the gloves that I got or the best gloves that I got. So I went for the skill haste with it. And it's pretty nice, guys. It's pretty nice. Rolled, of course, that armor over it and did the same for the knee pads. I crafted them with 9.9% critical hit damage and, of course, the mod of 10.9% critical hit damage on there. And a little 3.5% weapon handling. I would love to see this all to that max cap, but it's about luck. You need to craft it. You cannot find it. You need to craft it at the crafting bench. So you need to get lucky to get the good pieces. And of course, again, I rolled the armor in there. Then over to the two pieces of Sokolov. Why the two pieces of Sokolov? Of course, the SMG damage. Because we are running around with the Lady Death. And that critical hit damage. I still like to hit hard. Even though we are running around with 1.5 million armor. Same I chose for the core attribute as the armor and then for the 10.4% critical hit damage, 5% critical hit chance and a mod of 11.7% critical hit damage on there. 
For the secondary Sokolov, I went for my vest, of course, with Intimidate on there. And look at this vest, guys. Freaking God rolled. 15% weapon damage, 12% critical hit damage, 6% critical hit chance, and a mall of 12% critical hit damage on there. I'm loving this vest. And of course, like I said, with Intimidate, while you have bonus armor, amplified weapon damage by 35% to enemies within 10 meters and then of course going for the backpack with the perfect adrenaline rush on there yes guys rocking the matador the named walker and harrison co backpack and this will give me a little bit more bonus armor this will give me three percent more gain 23 percent bonus armor for five seconds and stacks up to three times instead of that 20 percent so that's another nine percent extra armor and nine percent extra armor on my build is an instant 150k armor so that's a little bit higher than the normal one and then of course i found it this way i would love to see a little bit different as hazard protection but the critical hit chance is already kept so the hazard protection is decent enough and yeah and the rest is just beautiful 15 percent weapon damage rolled out crit damage on there and of course went for a crit damage mod then over to my last piece that's a grupo why the grupo of course a critical hit damage we want to push that critical hit damage and critical hit chance to that max cap or of course the critical hit damage can be raised to whatever we like but this is one of the builds that gives you that tanky feeling but still puts out a lot of damage Again, I did exactly the same, rolled the armor over the core attribute and went for critical hit chance and critical hit damage as the normal attributes. Then I chose for my Lady Death, of course. We all know the Lady Death. I almost got a god rolled 14.5% SMG damage, just 0.5% and I'm god rolled, but we're doing it for the brief. Free, of course. When moving, gain 4 stacks per second or 8 stacks if sprinting up to 32 stacks in total each round fires consumes a stack amplifying the damage of 75 percent and grants the 20 percent movement speed for 10 seconds of course we are rocking this in pvp so let's switch on the pvp stats because then it switches back to 60 percent amplified damage so it isn't 75 anymore but it's 60 still a lot still enough guys yes that 15 percent is a lot because it's amplified damage but still this will be the best choice or yeah in my opinion the best choice to go for smg close and personal pvp build and then for my secondary i went for the famas i got ranger on there i got rolled it with of course damage to target out of cover on there and yeah, I'm just using this if I want to switch over to my secondary gun or maybe if they're spamming me from a distance, I can do something bad with my FAMAS. But mostly this will be around the Lady Death. Of course, we can use another, for example, this one, the SICK MPX. I will have a build in a few days with this. I'm loving this gun as well, but still... The Lady Death is better in all ways, even if you are combining it with some status effect that 75 or on PvP 60% amplified damage does a lot and no other SMG is coming near it. And then of course over to my backup boomstick, it's just the backup boomstick, I never use it. Maybe to take out an enemy if I want to have fun, but no, this is just a needed thing on the build and i chose for the backup boomstick with the 17 percent shotgun damage of course that 10 percent damage to target out of cover and some preservation it's not doing anything for me i'm just using these first two weapons or yeah at least i'm only using the first weapon to be honest with you and then let's head over to the skills guys of course i went for the shield the striker shield that comes with my specialization why because it's another life and it will give you an extra bonus armor of 11 percent per enemy 
So if one enemy is in front of you, you will get that extra 11% bonus damage up on that enemy. And I tried a lot. I tried a lot of different things. But the shield is still the best way to go for PvP. Everybody is running around with that shield. I tried different things. I even tried to go back to the defender drone. But the shield is just the way to go. It gives you an extra life. And it gives you some extra bonus damage. So yeah, that's why I chose for, of course, this shield with it. And then next to that, I went for the Stinger Hive. And why the Stinger Hive? Just to screw a little bit with the team synergy of the team in front of me. I'm of course running around. We need to be in that 15 or 10 meters from an enemy to take them down or yeah, proc or build the best way we can. And then just drop this hive. People will run away. People will dive away and won't have an eye for you you can easily take him down there most of the people are afraid of that hive and of course it helps you with a little bit of bleed damage and of course the stingers do a decent damage as well but yeah guys that's pretty much my setup of the build with 1.5 million armor feeling like a decent tank and still doing a lot of damage and talking about damage let's head over to the stats guys and there it is, look at this. 57% critical hit chance with a critical hit damage of 203.6%. Yes guys, with 1.5 million armor still doing a 203% critical hit damage. And this is why this build hits so freaking, freaking hard and still have the survivability to run around in PvP or even within the dark zone. So let's head over to the rest of the stats. Of course, that 45% all weapon damage bonus. Next to that, we are using the submachine. It's almost 40%, so giving us 85% extra weapon damage. Then over to, of course, the armor and all the defense. It's 1.47k armor. That's why it says 1.5 million armor. Next to that, we have a little bit of health on kill, a little bit of health generation. But we're not doing it for that, of course. No protection from elites. Of course, the pulse resistance is there because we will get that from our specialization but yeah guys that's pretty much my build and all the stats around it and i had a lot of fun playing pvp again i dove into pvp like a few days back and there are a lot more builds coming or yeah a lot more builds that i am having a lot of fun with but for today let me know what you think about this build or what you like to see for the next build or the next video. Hit me up in the comments down below. But for today, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to smash that like button and hit that subscribers button. And of course the notification bell. Pure Prime out.